and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Friday the 15th of November. The local media headlines today. Police have warned farmers they risk arrest if they try to block the streets of London next week during a protest against inheritance tax. A demonstration is planned for Tuesday by millionaire landowners who don't want the government to tighten a loophole which has for decades allowed them to dodge the tax. But police say that if slow-moving tractors cause an obstruction, their drivers might be arrested. Meanwhile, Cornwall Council's taxpayers have been told they'll have to continue financing Newquay Airport, as the ruling Conservative administration has rejected the idea that passengers should pay. When do you think Truro's lifting bridge might be built? What do you think of the chances it might never be built? There's bad news for post office users in Newquay and Liscard. And watch out for long diversions overnight if you're planning to use the A38 in East Cornwall. The St Ives Times and Echo is out today and leads with last week's news about that attempt to replace the leader of Cornwall Council by calling a vote of no confidence. With a headline that could probably be open to interpretation, the paper confirms that local St Ives councillor Linda Taylor is still in charge. Greatest Hits Radio covered the latest on the Elugan murder investigation. The Falmouth Packet is worried about bird flu. The BBC reported on the reopening of the butter market in Red Ruth. The Cornish Times praised the fundraising efforts of a local banger rally. And finally, Cornwall Live is worried about a snow bomb. Those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again on Monday. Until then, have a great weekend. Bye-bye.